so Jake um, was diagnosed at six weeks of age and we visited the school um, and we started becoming involved with any of the uh, any of the activities that they had here for education and for parent uh, support he went to the um, toddler program from 18 months old till he was three years old he then turned three in um, January, which was about two months ago, three months ago, and he is now in the preschool program, so he attends the preschool program um, full time. We uh, were involved with um, the local children's hospital um, right at birth, and he was diagnosed there. He saw an ENT, and the ENT that was going to do his cochlear implants told us that even though he had cochlear implants, he would likely need to have further education um, at a school if we wanted him to develop spoken language. So he referred us to the two schools in Pittsburgh to visit, and we visited the Pauls and made our decision based on that. I think um, the earlier the better for anything. The early diagnosis and any type of early intervention that you can get, meaning um, if they are going to wear hearing aids or cochlear implants, that the earlier that they get the device and wear it consistently is very important. And becoming involved with uh, whatever program you are going to be involved with for spoken language is very important. So Jake was six weeks old when we visited here and we you know, became actively involved in the school at that time. And I feel that that had a tremendous, um, you know, amount of like, I think that was a big reason why he has been so successful because of the early intervention with everything. We visited here um, right after learning that he was profoundly deaf and we were very devastated by the news and the doctor told us you know to, that he would be a candidate for cochlear implants and that we should visit the local schools we walked into the door and i knew at that moment that that, that this is where he needed to be it was the i've told people before but the weight of the world lifted off my shoulders that day all of my fears that you know what his future was going to hold you know they were just they were just minimized. I was just amazed when I saw these children. They were listening and speaking, you know, as similar to what a typical hearing child would do. And I was fascinated and I thought, this is a place for us. <laughs> it was exactly what I wanted. Um, he started here in that, we started coming to baby infant classes when he was very small. And then he started in the toddler program. And this is where he found his voice. Like he started talking, at, you know, um, right around I think he was 14 months old, so very similar to what a typical hearing child would be. And it was, you know, I strongly believe based on the early intervention. So he found his voice here and he started um, talking and then he, you know, came and learned, um, you know, more about speaking with his friends and with the program that they had. And it's just been an absolute wonderful experience. Yes, it wasn't too long ago. There's been so many that I, I almost started forgetting them because there's been so many. But the most recent one was a few weeks ago. He is three years old and he sits in our um, third row seat of our um, of our SUV and we were driving down the road and so he's kind of far away from me and I just heard him start singing the wheels on the bus go round and round the full verses you know the horn on the bus goes beep 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 the doors open and shut and it was absolutely amazing because that is something that you hear that deaf children don't do they don't enjoy music they don't uh, you know appreciate it they are not able to sing it understand it and without any prompting from anyone he was just singing along you know and clear as could be it was it it was amazing. I think it's what opportunities does he not have. He Everything is endless to him. He can do the same things that any of other typical child can do. He has two older brothers and he blends right in with them and their siblings. All of the fears that I had about the things that he couldn't do, I don't have any anymore. I just, I don't even think about it. I almost forget that he's deaf because I think his opportunities are endless. Uh, it's been wonderful. We, um, I felt like there was a lot of emotional support when he was first diagnosed, even before he was involved actively in the toddler program. There was about a year just based on his age when he, you know, we were here, but he wasn't in schooling. And I still felt like there was a lot between the baby parent um, support group and uh, the different educational programs they put on. There was a lot of support from the school. The families that I met here, you know, were just wonderful. It was, it was really it, I would have never known other families had we not been here. I, I don't know any families from our community that have a child with hearing loss. So this was my only like source of um, like peers to to reach out to. It was it's been really good. Um, I just don't think that people realize how um, 
how amazing life can be for a child that's born deaf now. That that truly, um, if they get their implants, if they if they attend a school for listening and spoken skills, they really can do the same thing as any other hearing child. And it it's it's something that I could have never imagined before. And it, it's really a miracle and it's amazing.